Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In our today's video, we are back with one more interesting category of computer programming that is HTML. So it is alright if you don't know anything about what is web development, what is programming, what is coding, what is the importance of HTML in web development, and the main reason what is HTML. So it is perfectly fine if you don't know any of these things. In our today's video, we are going to learn everything of these from scratch. So first of all, this is an HTML tutorial for beginners from basic to advanced. So this is the first part that we are going to start today. First of all, before knowing anything, let us see what does this HTML stands for. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Now what is this Hypertext Markup Language? Why they are going to use this hypertext itself? Why it is marked up language itself? So hypertext means the way in which the web pages are linked together. So if you're going to create a website or if you are creating any application or anything using HTML. So in your front pages, think, think that this is your home page and this is your login page. Now from your home page, think that there is a button to log in and there is a button to register. So when you're going to click on this button, you should open, it should open you the log, login page. And whatever UI is there over here, it will be shown to you. In order to link the location of this login page inside this button, we are going to use one attribute that is called as hreference attribute. This hreference is called as hypertext reference. The hypertext that is there here, the way in which the home page and the login page or in the way in which a two pages are linked together is known as hypertext. That means the first one is clear that is the hypertext. This is markup language. Why it is called as markup language? HTML to simplify markup a text document with the tags that Tell a web browser how the structure it should display. Now, for example, in the home page itself, think that if you are having a certain heading here, heading, and there is a paragraph about this heading. So, whatever you are going to write here inside this heading, now this heading is called H1, that is heading 1. And the paragraph that you write is always written inside this P tag. So these tags that are there, if you're going to see them, you're going to understand what tag is this, why it is used. So it is called as markup language. Only by seeing the tag, you can tell that, okay, this is a paragraph. Okay, this is a heading. Okay, in the same way, you will have multiples of uh, tags here and multiples of attributes, which we are going to learn in our coming sections. So for now, it is uh, done that HTML is also called as markup text document with the tag. So these are the tags that it tell a web browser how the structure has to be displayed. So if you're going to write it in H1, it, is, it, is, it should display you with the heading. If you're going to write it in a paragraph, then it should tell you that it is a paragraph and it should, it should have a paragraph. Next, what is this HTML? So, so far we have seen what HTML stands for. Now we are going to see what is HTML. HTML is a code used to structure the web pages and its content. And in order to create a web page, you need HTML. HTML is being widely used to format web pages with the help of different tags available in HTML. First page of HTML project or program is always index.html. So whenever you are creating any new program or you are creating any new project, Always remember the name of the file should be named as index and dot html that is there. This is the extension. This is the extension. All the HTML pages will be having dot and the HTML. Home page for any HTML program or project is index.html. Editors used in coding HTML language. Any of the editors are okay to code. To write with HTML, you can use Notepad, you can use Notepad++, Visual Studio Code, Sublime Text Editor, or any of the editor which you have is okay to create an HTML program. But the extension for all the program files should be .html in order to work with your HTML language or in order to display your web page on your browser. Next, we have a basic, simplest form of any HTML document. 
Premium here table. This is the basic of the document. Let us see what are, what does these stand for. First one, doc type HTML. This doc type HTML that is there. This is the main tag of HTML description, and this tag it is used. It is used to define the document type and html version and this is the most base uh, this is the most recent version that is html5 the next is the html tag this tag encloses the complete html document within it now you can see that there is also another html tag with a slash so this html tag is called as opening tag and this is called as a closing tag so there are there are certain tags which do not have the closing tag, which will be called as self-ending tags, and there are certain tags which are going to have the closing tag as well. So this is a self-ending tag, and this is this is a and this does has a closing tag. In the same way, you have another tag that is called as the header tag. Header tag is used to give the title for the document and also to add a certain meta tag. About these meta tags and about this header tag section, we are going to study it later. So for now, the header tag encloses the title and the meta tags. Next, you have another tag that is called as the body tag, which also has an opening and a closing tag. This body tag encloses all the other tags which are used to display the structure of your web page. So, or you can also say the content of the web page is displayed here in your body tag. So this is the basic simplest document of any HTML tag. Now there are certain features of HTML. So what are these features of HTML? The first feature of your HTML is HTML. With the help of HTML, you can create a static of pages. The second feature of HTML is this is a not case sensitive. That is, if you even if you are going to write the small cases and upper cases, it doesn't matter here. HTML is error-free line. Even if you are going to do any errors in the closing and the openings of the tag, it is not going to show you any error. This is a simple and easy. This is a platform-independent language. The fifth one that is that it is platform-independent. That is, you can use anything to write the HTML code and you can just open it in any of the browser and you'll be getting the output. Okay, now before going to the next one, let us see how we are going to install Visual Code Studio in our laptops or in our PCs. So to install Visual Studio Code in your PCs, all you have to do is just go to your browsers and just add Visual Studio Code. Once you're going to add Visual Studio Code, you can find the Visual Studio Code editing app and here you have download. Just have to open, download the extension. You just have to download this as per the requirement of your laptop or your PC. Just download it and there is normal installation. After downloading, you just have to go to this PC and inside your this PC, you will find that extension. You just have to download that extension, normal procedures and it will be done. So once it is done, it is going to look something like this here. Open this. Once you can open this, you will find a window like this. So once this window is done, cancel it from here. You have the file section. Just if you want to create any file, you just have to create it. Just click on this double document from here. You can just open a folder or if you want to create a folder, you can create one. So what we are going to do is we just are going to we're just going to right click here, new, and here you have the folder section. I'm just going to create a folder and I'm going to name it as HTML. Done. And if I'm going to go to this and I'm going to go to the Visual Studio Code, I'm going to open folders. Inside my open folder, I'll go to the desktop, HTML folder, select this folder. Yes, I trust. Done. So your HTML folder is created and you have also started with the Visual Studio Code. So we have this HTML file open here. So here you have four options. One is a new file. One is to create a new folder. 
One is to refresh the explorer and one more is to collapse the folders inside the explorer. So this is the explorer. Since we are having only one folder here and inside this folder itself we are going to create our pages. First page I am going to create that is index.html. I am just going to write index that is the first page of our HTML program. Index.html and enter. So this is how you are going to create an index.html page. So once this index.html page is created, I'm just going to write HTML and can we see this a 5 here? Click on this HTML file 5 and you will get the basic uh, snippet. If you are going to see this, we have studied, I mean, in this video we have learned only doc type HTML, HTML and the language is English. Head section, body section and HTML and we have learned only about the title. We have not learned anything about these meta cat meta tags. So don't worry about the meta tags. We are going to list them or we are going to learn them in the coming videos. For now we have just seen how to create or we have passed one level that is how to create an HTML document. So once this HTML document is done, here we have seen all the tags except one tag that is the title tag. Now what is this title tag? This title tag it is going to display the title of your web page. If you are going to give here as Home, dot, home page then in your browser it is going to display it as home page. So this is the use of the title tag. Next we are going to see content of an HTML tag. Now if we are going to see this, this is the paragraph tag that we have written here. Now let us write something here P that is a paragraph. I'll just write here as hello world in order to display this in your web page you have certain options first is you just can right click here anywhere on this screen you have open with live server to open it with live server you have to download an extension just have to click on this extension symbol here click on this extension symbol and here you can add live yes you can just click on this live server and here you have to install it. Here you, it is already installed in my laptop. So it is just giving me disable and uninstall. So here you will be having an install button. You just have to click that install. So once you are going to click that install, here you are going to get an option saying go live. Either you can click here on go live or you can use open with the live server. Now here I will be opening with the live server. Open with the live server. So this is how it is going to open in the live server. And you can see hello world here. Now since you have the hello world here. And here you can see the title is document. Let me change the document name. I'll just change it to home page. Save it. Go back to the browser and refresh it. Now you can see that the whole, it is given as home page so the title is used to add the title in your navigation bar and your body tag is used to add the content inside your body so here you have hello world and there is another way to see your output just have to right click and here you have show preview tab just click on the show preview tab and you can see the preview of your browser page in your visual studio code itself so this is how you can use it. Okay, let's continue. Next, content of an HTML tag. Now, what is this content of an HTML tag? So we have seen that the tag has certain openings and it has certain endings. So this is your opening tag. This is the closing tag. And this is the content that you have written. That is, this is the paragraph. And the new one is this. What is this attribute? Attribute is going to add some extra information about this tag. Now we have this a tag here. This complete tag is called as an element in your HTML. And this is the opening tag, closing tag and attributes are always written in the opening tag itself. So this is the content of your HTML tag. So whenever you are going to tell a tag, a tag means only opening bracket and the closing bracket this 
only this is called as a tag. When it has to be called completely or when it has certain content inside it, then this complete tag is called as an element. And the tags with some content inside it is completely known as an element. Now next, what HTML tags? So to write an HTML tag, you just have the tag name, tag name, and open angle bracket, and close angle bracket. HTML is a markup language and makes use of various tags to format the content. Except a few tags, most of the tags have their corresponding closing tags. And those few tags are called as self-ending tags. The simple program, we have already seen the simple program in our Visual Studio code. We have already printed hello world in there. Next, commenting in HTML. Have you going to comment it? So open the open right angle bracket, not symbol, dash dash. This is an HTML content. Dash dash and close the symbol. The content can be anything of your choice. So whatever you want to write, which should not be passed, that is, it should not be shown in your web page, that has to be written in the comment tag. So this is your comment tag. HTML is not case sensitive, that is, HTML is equal to, you can write the HTML like this also. The tags can be written like this. Upper cases or lower cases, that is not mandatory. So let us turn this HTML comment tag as well. Let's try it on here. I'll just write it as this is the first program. If I'm just going to save it and open it, here you can see that this is the first program is shown for me. But I don't want this to be here inside this web page. In order to close it from the web page, I just have the comment tag. So this is how the comment tag work in HTML. I'll save this. And now it is gone from here. This is how the comment tag works here. You have a shortcut for the comment tag as well. Shortcut keys for comment tag. You just have to select the section where you want to comment and control plus backslash. Control plus forward slash is the key. So I'll just write here control, control plus forward slash. If you're just going to use this, select the data whichever you want to comment. And if you are just going to use control plus a slash, you are going to comment it. To unselect or unslash, I mean to uncomment also, you are just going to use control and this forward slash. It is just going to release the comment. Now you can see it is already present here. You just refresh it. This is all for today's video. Meet you all again in the next video with more knowledge about HTML. Till then, keep learning and stay tuned. Bye-bye.